choosing to show only a portion of the video out of respect for the victim's family. At the start of the video, you can see the shooter setting up the camera, then showing his gun, before aiming it at the guard and pulling the trigger multiple times. The shooter has been identified as 21-year-old Jacob Jaroski. The man he shot and killed was 38-year-old John Kane. He was a loving person. He, he's kind. He'll help you out if he can. And anything you need for your room, anything like that, he takes care of it. He's a very, very sweet person. This man who didn't want to be identified was working with Kane when he was killed. When you saw him laying there, what did you think? I was like, oh my God, I can't believe, I can't believe this is happening. It could have been any one of us. He says Kane was just finishing up his shift, getting ready to go home around midnight when he responded to the noise complaint and was gunned down. His co-worker says he did everything right and likely saved lives. When we see something like that happen, we always were supposed to say gun, 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 like any officer would say in the line of duty. That's to alert any other security guy around or anybody else in the hotels that can hear that to come respond and aid that person or to at least call 911. You know what I'm saying? So yes. So he did that? Yes, he did. And by the time he did that, the next door neighbors that was next door to that room actually heard it and a bullet actually went through their wall. Seconds of, seconds of killing her as she lay down in the bed. Kane wasn't even supposed to be working, according to family and his co-worker. He was filling in for his uncle, who wanted time off. It's a loss that we can't replace. The family's... The family started a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses. Coming up at 6, we are speaking with the family who is trying to deal with this senseless loss. Reporting live in Wyoming, Heather Walker, News 8.